Hola a todos, hola Steven, profesor. Hola Inara, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, profesor. Uh, ¿Y tú? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Estás lista? Sí. Super. So, today we are going to check the present of the indicative. Eh, the presente del indicativo. We are going to see the regular verbs eh, and the form. Uh -huh. The forms. Mm, nice. Yes. So, okay. Let's start with some examples. So, in Spanish, the verbs, the form of the verb change for every pronoun. Subjects. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. So, for example, we have here. ¿Y dónde vives ahora? And where do you live now? Vivo en la calle Luna, muy cerca de aquí. I'm living in the Luna's street, very close from here. So, as you notice, here uh, the verb, we have the verb vivir, like to live. And it changed for every pronoun. Vives for tú, for you, and vivo for I, yo. Okay, then let's see another example. Perdone. Trabaja usted aquí? Excuse me. Do you work here? So here also the verb change. Yes, we have the verb trabajar, to work, and this form is for usted, right? Mm -hmm. For you, respective. And the next one, the last one, no, gracias. No como carne. No, thank you. I don't eat meat. Right here we have the, the verb comer. Mm -hmm. Right, and the form for I. So let's then see mm, the type of the forms of the verbs, right? We already know that in Spanish we have two types of verbs, regular and irregular. The verbs that are regular in Spanish, they finish with R, R, ir. Yes, the ending, this is the ending, right? Ar, er, ir. So for the verbs that finish in ar, they will have one form. So for example, let's see the verb trabajar, right? To work. Yo trabajo, tú trabajas, usted, él, ella trabaja. Here we have the same for both. Nosotros, nosotras trabajamos, vosotros, vosotras trabajáis, ustedes, ellos, ellas trabajan. Here we also have the same form, right? Ustedes, ellos, ellas. So as you see, the verb, the root of the, of the verb, it remains. Yes, it doesn't change. Trabaj. So we are going to take the last part in, for example, in for yo. The last part, and instead of them, we are going to put an O, right? And for every case, this is always the same for I, right? We can see it, Professor. Thank you for uh, explaining it so thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just I wanted to make it clear. You say, don't skip the tails. Yeah, I understand, but uh, not, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're, we, we, of course, we, we study Spanish, but we are smart. Okay, super. We, I mean, guys, uh, me and uh, you who study okay. Spanish with me. Vale, vale. Okay, then, so let's see the form for er, right? For er, it's going to be como, yo, tú comes, usted, eh, él, ella come, nosotros, nosotras comemos, vosotros, vosotras coméis. Ustedes, ellos, ellas comen. Yes. So we have here a. And for the verb ir, we have yo vivo, tú vives, usted, él, ella vive, nosotros vivimos, vosotros, vosotras vivís, ustedes, ellos, ellas viven. So here a, I is going to keep for this two. Right. And that's it. That's the form or the verbs. Mm -hmm. So And, uh, as usual, atención. Mm -hmm. Atención. Okay, we have the verb ver, right? This is uh, uh, one that we have to keep in mind because here, for example, we don't delete the vocal E, right? We keep it. So we just add O, yes, as we can see here, right? Ver, veo, and then ves, ve, ve, vemos, veis, ven, ven, right? So we will just add O and that's all. Mm -hmm. How we can use this verb? We can use to ask or to give any information, right? In present time. For example, el hermano de Alicia trabaja en una empresa de informática. Alicia's brothers work in a... IT company. 
IT company, right? Or nos alojamos en la casa de Andrés. Uh, we are staying in Andrés' house. So another thing is that we can use this for time to express habits, right? And for that, we can use several words. For example, todos los días, every day, una vez a la semana, once per week, siempre, always, nunca, never, right? And so on. We have a lot of adverbs. For example, eh, en mi casa cenamos muy temprano. In my house, we, eh, we have a dinner very early, right? So that we do, we do that usually. For example, okay, let's see one more. Mm, normalmente pasamos el fin de semana en el campo. So usually we spend in the weekends in the countryside. Also, we can use it when we talk, talk about mm, general things and universal things. For example, la tierra gira alrededor del sol. The earth turn around the sun. Mm -hmm. right? so, so our planet here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we i think that every everyone knows that so that's what we mean with general things or universal things right mm -hmm. for example los vegetarianos no comen carne vegetarian people doesn't eat meat do not eat meat I don't okay do not eat. Mm -hmm. very interesting clear and easy in my opinion and guys you can uh, complete all the exercises uh, yourself by yourself and check yourself. Yes, guys, uh, like easy. Uh, you can, um, when you know pronoun, which pronoun you need to use, use, sorry, subject. Yeah. Uh, is it singular, plural, blah, blah. Uh, you will be easily, you easily uh, know how to uh, change a verb's form. And uh, uh, what are we going to study in the next class, Stephen? The next topic is, will be the same, but we are going to check the irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. Irregular verbs, mm -hmm. very interesting. And in my opinion, irregular verbs in uh, Spanish, they are easier than in English, right? Some of them. Uh, still, um, because in English there are tons of them and they, they have sometimes three forms can be different or mm -hmm. all of them can be the same or two of them or two of them are the same and the third one is different this is confusing and in spanish i think it's easier no in that way yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. so very interesting guys so we will be very happy to read why your uh, reason why you study spanish we read your comments and uh, for example i i study spanish because for me it's the most beautiful language in the world how it sounds some of our students they study spanish because they love uh, music in spanish mainly from latin america obviously because there are more um, artists from latin america because it's uh, bigger uh, compared to Spain. And please, uh, we'll be looking forward for your reasons. So maybe you are in love with, uh, I don't know, Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. clears throat> and um, thank you, Stephen, for this class. Um, uh, see you guys on our social media. Uh, we offer sometimes free trial classes with us. And sometimes you even can win one month of lessons studying with us. Uh, with our uh, teachers from Spain and Latin America. Adios, amigas y amigos. Adios, chicos. Hasta pronto.